now that I have explained the three basic logic gates, the next step is to um, uh, learn how to understand the outputs given by a logic circuit. So here we have this logic circuit, which is made up of these three gates. This is an AND gate, an ODD gate, and an OR gate. Now, in order to understand the output, you have to basically do a truth table. But since we have more than one gate, we cannot do a truth table immediately. So my suggestion is that you um, label what I call intermediate outputs to indicate um, the outputs of each single logic gate. So, for example, here we have this AND gate, and it gives this output. So, I'm going to label this as C. And here we have this NOT gate. I'm going to label its output as D. The final gate gives output F, so we don't have to label it. So, now we can draw the true table for this logic circuit. So we have A, B, C, D, and X. So these two are the inputs. X is the final output. C and D are what I am calling the intermediate outputs, which are the outputs of the internal logic gate. As usual, we have to write down the inputs since um, we have two inputs, A and B. I'm going to draw 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we can now start to fill in this truth table. My suggestion is that if you are still um, not fluent enough, in uh, logic gates, keep in front of you the truth tables of the logic gates that I have explained in my previous video. So this is the NOT gate, this is the AND gate, this is the OR gate. And let's start by um, filling in column C. And we know that C is basically the AND, because this is an AND gate, of A and B. So if we look at our truth table for the AND gate, we know that when we have a 0 and a 0, the AND gate will give us a 0. When we have a 0 and a 1, the AND gate will give us a 0 as well. Where we have 1 and 0, the AND gate will give us a 0. And where we have 1 and 1, the AND gate will give us a 1. My suggestion is that once you do some exercises um, of this kind, um, you will start writing down the outputs um, of gates um, immediately without having to look at um, the uh, truth tables by understanding that, for example, an end gate will give you a 1 when uh, both inputs are 1. Now, let's do column D. D is representing the output coming out from this NOT gate, and this is NOT of B. Okay? And as, as you know, um, if we have a look at the NOT, at the not gate, um, the NOT gate is basically an inverter gate, so if we give it a 0, it will give us a 1. If we give it a 1, it will give us a 0. So here, again, we have another 0, so it gives us a 1. Here we have a 1, so it gives us a 0. Now, let's do x, which is the final output. Um, <clears throat> and uh, x is an OR gate, but it is the OR of this input. So it is the OR of C, and it is OR of this input, which is the OR of D. So, we have to take each two inputs and compare them to the OR gate. Now, we'll either compare them to the OR gate, or otherwise, um, uh, we have to remember that an OR gate will give us a 1 
when there is a 1 in the input. So in this case, 0 or 1, it will give us a 1. And if we have a look here at the truth table of the OR gate, 0 or 1 gives us a 1. So 0 or 1, that will give us a 1. In this case, 0 or 0 is going to give us a 0 because there isn't any 1. And if we look at the um, truth table of the OR, 0 or 0 gives us a 0. 0 or 1 gives us a 1, and 1 or 0 um, gives us a 1 as well, because as you can see, there is a 1 in the input. And that is the answer. Um, uh, this is actually the truth table for this logic circuit. Now, if you want to write down the Boolean expression, the Boolean expression for this truth table, there are various ways, um, but uh, in my opinion, the simplest way is to take a pencil. I am going to use this orange jump marker, but you can take a pencil. Start from the beginning, and for each logic gate that you have, write down its Boolean expression. So here we have an AND, so this is A and B. Here we have an ODD gate, so this is NOT of B. Here we have an OR gate, but it's the OR of this one, so A and B, we can make it in brackets, or this one, B not. Therefore, the answer is, or the Boolean expression is, X equals A and B, or not B. This is the Boolean expression. Now, um, in this case, if you want, you can write brackets here and here, but there's no need, okay? Um, uh, it's very important that you know the order of precedence, and uh, the order of precedence is um, uh, not and and all. Okay, you will learn this um, uh, in the following videos. Okay, so basically the not has the higher pre uh, precedence, order of precedence, followed by the and, and then followed by the or. So, so basically this can be written as x equals a and b or not b. It will be understood that first you have to do the not of the b, then the A and B together, and then you do the OR.